What's up guys? Got an exciting video for you here today. Today we just got, I mean just even minutes ago, we got a new announcement. Today we're announcing a 3.6 billion of new investments in Giga Nevada, 4 million square feet of new manufacturing footprint, 3,000 additional new team members, two new manufacturing facilities, a 100 gigawatt hour 4680 cell factory, and our first high volume semi factory. In 2014, when they built, when they invested 6.2 billion in Nevada and built a 5.4 million square foot gigafactory. So this is close to almost doubling the size, uh, making it close to 10 million square feet. It's just unbelievable, um, helping accelerate the world's uh, transition to sustainable energy. But something I found kind of interesting, I'm speculating here, but we'll, so um, let me read on the website, we will be investing 3.6 billion more to continue growing Giga Nevada. Uh, adding 3,000 new team members and two new factories, a 100 gigawatt hour 4680 cell uh, with capacity to produce enough batteries for 2 million light duty vehicles annually. 2 million light duty vehicles annually. What does this mean? Well, 100 gigawatt hours is 100 million kilowatt hours. Battery pack for a Tesla vehicle is anywhere from around 60 kilowatt hours up to 100. If you do 100 million kilowatt hours, divide that into what they say, two million light duty vehicles. What does that, what does light duty vehicles mean? That's a 50 kilowatt hour uh, car. So that's a little bit small. Their long range Model 3, for instance, right now has a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. So are they implying that they could be making the battery packs for a potential robo taxi, or maybe they've been talking about for years, a $25,000 compact car. We don't really know. I'm speculating right now, but I think that this could be where they start building the battery packs for their either cheaper $25,000 car or potentially the robo taxi, which is just super exciting. Um, one of my, Full thesis for Tesla is creating the robo taxi and autonomy just becomes, it could be worth trillions of dollars. This factory just goes towards their goal. Their goal is to produce close to 20 million cars per year. Right now, this 1.75 million cars per year. They did around this quarter, 4, uh, 440,000 vehicles produced for the quarter worldwide. So you multiply that by four, 1.75 million cars produced per year. They only really need to grow by about 15% um, to get to 2 million cars. Well, this announcement basically doubles their production production value. So, you know, they're getting closer. It could be around a 4 million vehicle production rate coming soon, as well as our first high volume semi factory. So if we remember a couple years ago, it was pretty famous when he said it, but Bill Gates wrote a blog saying, semis will never be used for electric vehicles. It's just not possible. I believe even the CEO of Mercedes was saying, semi trucks for electric vehicles are just not possible. You need diesel fuel. And I think they've proven it wrong. They have a 500 mile range uh, semi and energy consumption of less than two kilowatt hours per mile. So it's just really exciting. I mean, Tesla's goal is to transition the world to sustainable energy. 1% of vehicles sold in the US are semi-trucks, but they're 20% of the emissions. So if your goal is you know, less pollution and renewable energies, one of the big issue is semi-trucks. They're 36% of particulate emissions. So not great for the air and you know them working on a high volume semi factory is just super exciting a lot of people didn't even believe it was possible to have electric semi trucks i personally thought that they were going to announce maybe in mexico a new gigafactory in mexico or maybe in indonesia so you know them just expanding and almost doubling the size of the nevada factory is just great news um, they've already proven they've they've driven over 500 miles fully loaded for the semi and I think it is going to be a game changer. Also something that has an enormous potential as well with autonomy, not besides robo taxis, is one of the most popular jobs in the United States is driving semi trucks. 
So as they start to work on autonomy, this could, you know, be a game changer. You know, who wouldn't want an autonomous, you know, delivery truck? I mean, it doesn't seem like the greatest job anyways, but I guess that is a problem with, you know, how many people could potentially lose their job with Tesla having autonomous uh, semi trucks, but that's an issue that you can look into the future. Another thing that's great about the semi trucks, this is just a little bit um, going into semis, is they have regenerative braking. So it captures the energy as you're braking or going downhill. So you don't get your, the brakes don't get as hot. Um, there's no shifting, has amazing traction control. So these are all game changers in terms of safety. It's shaped like a bullet to be more aerodynamic. Um, it has two screens on it. The seat is in the middle of the car has megawatt charging capability, also has wireless charging for your phone. And yeah, I just wanted to get into, it just got announced literally, you know, 20 minutes ago that they're announcing this expansion. Um, 100 gigawatt hours for the 4680 cells is super exciting. And then they say around 2 million light duty vehicles annually. It's kind of, you know, what do you think a light duty vehicle? Is that just not the cyber truck or or semi does that just mean model s model 3 model y or model x but i think it could potentially be especially at 2 million vehicles additionally to what they're already producing i think this could be the, where the compact cars battery packs are created so again this is very exciting news for tesla that's all i have for today thank you guys for watching my name is sean i'm the tesla hyperbowl and i'll see you guys next time